Hey, do you like dinosaurs? Well, come on, check this out. I have some awesome ideas for you that you can make with your Cricut machine. So what are you waiting for? Turn your Cricut machine on and let's get creative. Oh, by the way, you know what's also awesome besides dinosaurs is clicking that like button for me because, well, it's free and it makes me smile. Super stoked, you guys. TechRap sent me this awesome bundle of their watercolor changing vinyl, including some other cute pastel ones. Plus, they sent me these awesome tools like who else needs an extra glittery weeding pin? I know I do. This stuff is super amazing. Look at these really pretty colors. I love these colors for the summer. They're super soft. They have a spring, but a summer vibe to them. The top row, if you see in the name, it has WC. That means it changes color when the water is super cold. So these are perfect for adding to those Libby glass cups or to your favorite tumbler, you name it. So when you take the wrapping off, there is a sticker holding it together. The back of the sticker vinyl is like a pearlescent color and then it's very shimmery on top. Now, as you peel it apart, you can see that it's just like a sticker, so you can make some awesome stickers out of these. But you noticed as I started peeling away, you can see that there was this like film on top of it. Now, I've never seen vinyl that had this extra layer of film on top, which I felt was a bonus for tech wrap because then this protects your vinyl from any other type of debris. Then on the back, you do have your green grid line and super easy to add to a mat and peel it off when you're ready to cut. You definitely do not want to leave that protective film on when you send it through your Cricut machine because I guarantee you it'll snag and jam your machine up. All right, now that everything's cut, super easy to weed. I got a corner going. I cut it on a removable vinyl setting and now we're ready to go ahead and decorate one of our glasses. I had some hand sanitizer in a spray bottle to wipe down my cups. Here are all my tools that I'm gonna be using, and we're gonna get started in making some awesome dinosaur mugs. How awesome are these ombre colored tweezers? Super cool. So here's a couple of tips when you're adding designs to any type of glassware or a tumbler. I always like to cut my image in half if at all possible because in this way this gives you better control over your contact paper and your image so that you can make sure that you are getting it straight and that everything is on where it needs to be. You don't want it to go too high to where it gets to the lip so where there's any bending and you don't want it to go below the cup because you don't want to have any of your images that you're needing to cut off. And I always like to keep my cloth nearby. I try to keep my fingertips off of it as much as possible and only touch the bottom and the rim of the cup. I can clean that up later. And it looks like this came out really good. I felt like there was too many dinosaurs for this specific design. So I decided to take two of them off. You can see them off to the side there. And I felt like one more Stegosaurus was gonna be perfect right in the middle there because then I'm gonna go back in and add my little dinosaur feet prints in some of the bigger gapped areas. Have fun with this, get creative. I feel like doing this in steps and then just instead of adding them all in one layer, this makes it super fun and easy. And yeah, it may take you a couple of extra steps, but I feel like this is so much more efficient in decorating your glasses. Well, moving on to the next one. This one took a lot of work just because there were five different layers in creating this. And you can barely see the images. And that is because this stuff is almost pretty much white until the cold water hits it. And let me tell you guys, this stuff is super amazing. I can't wait to make more cups with these, make some Father's Day cups, do some summer vibe ones. And I did add some white and black vinyl. That was the only additional stuff that I had to have extra so I can make their little eyeballs. But this was a super cute mug to make, getting ready for Jurassic World, having a little dinosaur cup. This would be great, take to the lake, add your favorite drink into it. This was a super cute little design that I got over off of Creative Fabrica. I'll leave a link down in the description. Super cute, now it's time to add some water. Well, I have to say, I love the tech wrap goodies that I got and I love the color changing vinyl and the little tools that came in this set are awesome. 
It was super easy to apply to a mat, cut it, and weed it. The tweezers, weeder, and scraper tools all came in handy. I like that the vinyl had a protective film over the top and you peel it when you're ready to cut. Check out the link down in the description to snag your favorite colors of tech wrap today. Now it's time to create our own dinosaur themed cake topper. So I created this image out of multiple other images that I found and so what's unique to creating a cake topper and if you're wanting to try this on your own, you do want to make sure that you are getting them in an SVG and that it is a multi-layered file. So for instance, if you're going to go to images and let's go ahead and type in dinosaur just so that you can see what I'm talking about and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to this plus sign. Do you see layers here over on the left hand side? And if you click on it, you have the option of single or multi-level, so or multi-layers. Now, this will give you a layered SVG that you can cut in multiple colors. All right, so back to the canvas. I made mine roughly a little over eight and a half by eight and a half. And then I just picked a font over off of Creative Fabrica. I used butter and garlic. Again, I'll leave all these links to what I'm using down below in the description. Now I did use a heavy cardstock, a medium, and a light cardstock. I would not recommend using light cardstock for more intricate cuts. You're gonna need some foam spacers, and I got this little pink container that has this adhesive glue dots, which is actually amazing for making cards and cake toppers. This is definitely a must have. I'll go ahead and leave a link down below for you so you can snag all these little items that I'm using. I definitely love how this came out. I worked on creating this and making this unique to what I wanted it for so that when my little three-year-old turns three this fall, this is gonna be perfect. This thing is amazing, I love it. And it really helped get in for those little more intricate details such as the outline of the dinosaur. All right, so right now, you're just gonna be layering upon layering and getting this set up how you want it to look. Now it's time to add the cupcake and some glitter. Perfect, love it. I'm gonna have to set this aside so it doesn't get ruined. Also, be sure to check out my earrings on my Etsy shop. Let's go ahead and dive into the next project. Here's an awesome idea for your little dinosaurs in your life. If you wanna make something creative for a shirt, you can pick all your favorite dinosaurs, pick some fun adjectives that describe your little people, put them on the shirt with your favorite HTV. Since Father's Day's right around the corner, here's an awesome SVG I found over off of Creative Fabrica, so you can have a gift just in time for Father's Day. If you're on a budget this summer, check out this video.